the chief should resign, or he may be forced out of, out of his post at some point. The pressure mounts on Fullerton's police chief in the beating death of a homeless man at the hands of officers. Support for the police chief by members of Fullerton City Council is fading fast. Good evening. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers. Micah is off tonight. Another council member has now come forward calling for Mike Sellers to resign. And he talked exclusively to KTLA's David Begno tonight, who is live in Fullerton with details for us. David. Rick, if one more elected leader comes forward saying this chief of police has to go, it'll be a majority voice of the council. This councilman you're about to hear from says that just like Kelly Thomas, the man who died in this case, was actually running from the police, this councilman believes that his chief of police is running too from the council and the public. In my opinion, the chief should resign or he may be forced out of out of his post at some point. Harsh words tonight from Fullerton City Councilman Bruce Whitaker, now the second elected official calling for Chief Michael Sellers to step down, all because of what he says the chief has not done in the 29 days since Kelly Thomas was involved in a deadly confrontation with six Fullerton police officers. What do you want the chief to say? I want the chief to put a human face on this, and, and rather than hiding behind legalities, and rather than uh, working through spokespersons to get out in front and, and man up and basically communicate to the public. This isn't the first time the chief has gone silent. The councilman says back in April there was an inmate who died inside the city jail. The councilman asked the chief about cameras, information on where the cameras were inside the jail. That was four months ago, and tonight the councilman says he's still waiting on an answer. So if you as a city councilman can't get an answer to a question like that, how are we expecting to get an answer from any of your people. Right, and how can I assure people that we can be accountable in the future to, and prevent these types of incidents from happening? And get this, the councilman says he was told late Thursday afternoon that the chief and others are just waiting for the public to calm down over Kelly Thomas's death. Hunker down, wait for the passions to subside, and basically with no new information being released, it's going to be, uh, it'll, it'll just subside. That is absurd. That is absurd. And tonight, I can only envision how angry people are going to be hearing you say that. Well, and I'm very angry about it because there seems to be a tone deafness about where the public is at on this. Today, we tried to get an interview with Chief Sellers. We walked into the department around 5.30 p.m. and were told to take a seat. Bigno, right? Yes. Nice to meet you. A captain asked if I had an appointment. I did not, so he said he'd check and see if the chief was available. We waited. 6 p.m. rolled around. Um, the chief will not be talking to you today. And with that, we left. And tonight, I have confirmed the city of Fullerton will pay $76,000 every month for the six officers involved in this beating to sit at home on paid administrative leave. But the councilman you just heard from says he believes it is worth the city to pay that much because he believes this city is safer with those six officers off of the streets. We are live tonight in the city of Fullerton. I'm David Begno, KTLA 5 News. All right, David, thank you for that. Team 5 coverage continues now with comments from the coroner in Orange County who is asking people not to rush to judgment. That's right. KTLA's Carolyn Costello live with the exclusive details. Carolyn? Share the autopsy portion of the death investigation is complete. So tonight we came here to the Orange County Coroner's Office looking for answers. We want to know, was there a fatal blow, a blow that took this young man's life? It is a disturbing image, a bruised and bloodied picture of Kelly Thomas after a violent encounter with several Fullerton police officers. An image and a story that's led to outrage in the community. What you see on the outside may not be what's going on inside. Um, a injury, a bruise may only be superficial, so it may not be fatal. Mitchell Siegel is the supervising deputy coroner in Orange County. His office has examined Thomas's body and is conducting the death investigation. He cautions bruises and blood only tell a fraction of how someone died. They may look horrible. We fall off of, of a bicycle, we get a scrape. We bleed and it's the horrible thing in the world. However, when you clean it up, it's not so bad. So we really can't tell really what you see until you clean somebody up. Pathologists have already looked at how deep the...